It's uprooting my world here. It doesn't make any sense here. Yes. So I've descended from mystery. Author George R. R. Martin spent much of his childhood in the home of his beloved grandmother, Grace Martin. But George knew almost nothing about his grandfather. Grace's husband, Louis Martin, because Louis had long ago abandoned the family. In fact, George didn't even know when his grandparents separated, only that Louis left his wife for a younger woman and then dropped out of sight. Was there any contact between your grandfather and your father that you knew of? I, I have memories of meeting Grandpa Louis on a few occasions, but very few. Mm -hmm. And um, then it just stopped. George told me that despite all of Louis's flaws, he did feel close to his grandfather in one fundamental way. Louis Martin, we knew, had been born Luigi Mazzacola in Italy and had immigrated to America as a child. George is proud of this aspect of his heritage and wanted to know more about it. But just as we were about to send a researcher to Italy, we noticed something odd in George's DNA. George, this is what's called an admixture test, and it reveals your ancestry percentages over approximately the past 500 years, roughly since the time of Columbus. Wow, 22.4% Ashkenazi Jewish. That's interesting. 22.4% is roughly equivalent to what would be inherited from a grandparent of full Jewish ancestry. But George wasn't aware that he had even one Jewish ancestor. So I'm trying to figure this out here. Well, what I know my family heritage is not adding up here. Mm -mm. Uh, where, where is the Jewish coming in? I... What's missing from that chart? The Italians. The Italians. There's no Italian. OK, that's shocking. As Louis's grandson, George should have been about 25% Italian. But the DNA was telling a dramatically different story. So you're saying Louis was not my grandfather? We don't know. We have to explore. But in order to be sure, we needed to perform more DNA testing on your relatives. Oh, OK. <laughs> we located several of Louis's other grandchildren. And one of them, a man named Joel, agreed to take a DNA test for us. Then we compared Joel's genetic profile to George's genetic profile, looking to see what the two men shared. At last, the moment of truth was at hand. Now, I'm going to show you a chart that illustrates what we found. It's going to highlight in red <laughs> any DNA that you share with Joel. If Louis is your biological grandfather, then Joel should be your half first cousin, which means that you should have about 6% of your DNA in common with each other, right? Right. Turn that page. See any red on there? So I'm not related to, <laughs> to Louis. <laughs> You've always presumed that Louis cheated and left Grace. Where it appears that Grace actually. Grace cheated on Louis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've often thought of writing a, a book about, uh, you know, that house. You know, it was, yeah. I haven't even told half the stories yet of some of the people who live there at various points. That book just got more complicated. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Genetic genealogy is transforming our world, allowing us to learn stories that have vanished from the paper trail and to see ourselves and our ancestors in an entirely new way. To see more incredible stories, click here.